Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Canadian Maritimes. Well, look around. Winter has finally graced us with her presence. Anyway, today's uh, video, I want to talk about short path and long path propagation. This is the season now, December, January, where many of us on the Canadian Maritimes, while many DXers, go chasing long path signals. So you may have saw my video I did uh, from a POTA activation at a local park here where I took the POTA performer and tried to work Japan long path and was successful in working Japan long path with the POTA performer. But I got some queries afterwards. I said, Stuart, what is long path? What is short path? Well, the question was, what is long path? And I can't answer the long path question without uh, answering first what short path is. So in the world of DX, well, anything, airline travel, doesn't matter. There is this thing in the world called the great circle path. And you may think, for example, the shortest, the shortest connection between, let's say here and Israel would be east. Because if you look at a flat map, Israel is almost due east from where I am. But that's not correct. The great circle path is connects the, sh the shortest, it's the shortest route between two locations. And for me to work Israel, for example, I aim my beam 45 degrees. So technically the signal to Israel goes over Northern UK from here. That's the shortest path because remember the world is a sphere and what may look on a due east on a flat map is actually not correct. So the short path to Israel is 45 degrees from here. But what is long path? Well, long path would be 180 degrees in the exact opposite direction. So I would take my beam, rotate it 180 degrees to the other direction. Pretty simple. That's the long path around the world. So instead of going over England, now I'm beaming somewhere over the United States, across the Pacific, around the world that way. And get this, sometimes short path propagation is closed, but long path propagation is open. Case in point, we can work Japan here around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening on 40 meter long path, but you can't do that 40 meter short path. In the morning, like it is now, I can work Nepal, Bangladesh, India on 20 meters long path beaming over the South Pole. And normally when I want to work Nepal, Bangladesh, and India, I point my antenna at about 20 to 25, 30 degrees north. That's the short path. The long path is 180 degrees the opposite direction. Now, does this have any impact on your POTA? Probably not, because you're just throwing up a vertical antenna or an NFED wire and hoping to get contacts with Bob in New Jersey. But for us guys working DX from home, or even us going out to do uh, parks on the air or worldwide flora and fauna DX, understanding long path propagation and how it works would open new doors and new opportunities to work some rare DX. You just need a directional antenna. You're, but hey, you know what? I've worked Australia from here on long path with a vertical. So it can be done. It can be done. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and we'll see you guys in another video.